name is Klaus Ibsen and I just wanted to record a video of an uh, upcoming feature in Camel 4.3 that is to be released um, soon. So in Camel 4.3 we added some new features um, in Camel JBang for live uh, message transformation. Um, so just want to see where you can find jbang and the information is down here in the bottom documentation and there's a lot of documentation but the thing the topic today is the transforming message using data mapping in in jbang um, and also i want to show and talk a little bit about camelas these are fantastic um, uh, ready to use sync and sources so you can easily connect to different systems and also a few ones for quickly trying out stuff uh, it's friday so we're gonna try using the beer source so yeah have beers so to get designing a camera route you can also start to use your uh, low level ui tooling one such is the camel caravan project uh, there's an online web editor that you can just access from a web browser caravan.space and so let's get going so i want to create and in route i'm going to use a camera the beer sort then i want to do some uh, message transformation on using the inter integration patterns um, so i can use set body or transform they're essentially the same but set body is sort of like the old-fashioned name i don't know what to do i could type to do here but i'm actually not gonna i'm gonna type something called body so i'm just gonna output the body as is you know, no changes but later we're gonna you know do more stuff and then after that i want to actually lock the output that's it so now i have something you can see the the code here um so but don't bother about the yammer view it as soon as it gets a bit longer it's hard to maintain by hand so you need some tooling like caravan there's also another tool in the works called kyoto from red hat but it's not as um it's not ready yet, so, but Red Hat will be, you know, of course, uh, announce it uh, when it is later next year. So I'm gonna download this thing to my computer. It's just gonna an example file, so I'm gonna copy from downloads, examples, YAML here. Um, now I can actually just run it, camera exam RAM, and see what happens. Uh, and I get some json stuff from some beers but i actually want to do the message transformation so before doing that i actually another way of running the stuff is debugging so but this is actually a new feature we added to the debug is to say output equals and then the name of a file then it will actually just store that whatever message content you are currently seeing in the debug to that file this is a quick way to grab some sample data we got, we're going to use for the message transformation because we actually want to use the sample data to do the message transformation and see the live changes in real life as the, yeah, the output will be for real. So from the camel we got some um, the beer, I'm going to do the set body thing and then at the end I do the lock and frankly at the end of the debug is green, everything is good, I can see the status, blah blah blah, but I can just exit to keep debugger, control C and sure enough I have a sample file here now. So I could uh, go into an editor and I'm going to just use um, basic editor, but of course you can use um, uh, tools in um, Visual Studio and IntelliJ and things like that. But let's keep it low school. So this is the sample data and over here I want to do some message transformation. Instead of the body, I'm going to do, now pay attention, this is YAML and this is by hand, so I'm going to build uh, yet also a JSON to JSON, but let me say, I want to say this is a beer. I'm going to reduce all the sample data to something smaller. I just want to output the beer. And from the beer, I'm going to grab, let me see the brand and the name. So the brand and the name in one line. So I can now in, in Camel 4.3, we have inline the JSON query language inside the symbol expression. So uh, so I want to easily just grab the brand and then I want to grab the the name of the beer and what's like that in one line and then now I want to see that in action sorry I actually 
did this bef ahead of time. So what I want to actually show is the new command. So camel mesh transform message. Um, and if you do there, help, there's many options. Uh, so what we're going to do is to say, I want to get the body. This is the sample file. I want to refer to the source code so I can actually just do a message translation from the source code. So I'm going to say, this is the uh, file sample JSON. And the source is example YAML. Now, I don't want to do this in real time. So I want to watch the changes. So just want to explain again. So the source here means I want to refer to actual camel routes, the source code. In that source code file, there is supposedly a message transformation. You know, go find that yourself. So because there's only one, it finds it. But if you have multiple of them, it will take the last one. But you can also specify exactly, okay, what line number, or IDs, etc. But all that is explained in the documentation. But this is just to make it really quick. So I execute this. Now, because I did some uh, jump ahead of myself, I can see here, oh, there are some, some the beer here. And frankly, you can see the output is in, it's JSON, but it's a single line. So I can also say I want to do it in pretty mode. So in pretty mode, Camel will then, you know, as, as you can see, structure the JSON nicely and use colors. So it gives you a, a better uh, way of seeing changes and then if something goes wrong. So let's do for the next one. I want to say the alcohol, but uh, I just want to say one. Um, let's see. So I saved the file and you can see up here it's immediately updated. And if I say one, two, it comes up here, right. Um, so now I want to grab that alcohol information from the beer. It was alcohol. Okay. Okay. Alcohol. And then I save it. And it's 4.4. So that's an okay beer, right? And I could do other things if I want, you know, you know, JSON query has a lot of functions to grab uh, information, not only like this, they are basic with one to one, but you can, you know, find elements from a list and do sums and aggregates and many calculations on things. So, but it's, <laughs> it takes a while to learn all that, but I just want to show, show how easy it is just to do something. Uh, with with JBang easily in real life, you know. Also, so now we have that fine thing, and I can say this is fine. I can run it. I have everything what I want for this message transformation. So now I get it like a, in JSON thing, right? It, it can get all the beers. Um, but you can actually also let me just say, okay, now it shouldn't be a J JSON as the output. It should be XML. So okay, sure enough, I can just say beer. Um, beer and then name do, 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 do. let me do, 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 do. name and save and now you can see it's sort of partially done right uh, now I need oops sorry uh, the alcohol um, oh, the alcohol should be an attribute up here just do that and, da, 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 da. Doop, 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 and delete this one. Um, let's see if that works. Yes, now we have a nice beer up here. Uh, it needs the closing. Yes, and now it's here. On yeah, there's a little bit of um, the pretty printer in XML. It's a bit verbose. It has a few empty lines. That's something we need to uh, polish. But this is a quick way as well. I can say, okay, if XML, JSON things, or whatever you want to do for message transformation that are basic, then this one can do. We also have integration with uh, JSON path. So JSON query and JSON path are two different sort of language for grabbing JSON structured data. XML and and speaking of XML, there's also another example for that. Um, camel, camel is example JBang ex ex using XSLT. Um, so that's also with instruction how to do it. 
you have style sheet, you have a sample file, and then it, you can do the same thing there. So basically this message transformation works with, um, with Camel components as well, because this one is using the XSLT component, not a, a Camel language, but that's the nuance to it. So we made it very um, elaborate, so you can use all the facets of Camel, how to do message transformation, and in the same way with this new command. So. Um, yeah, the video is quite long now already. I talked too much, so I was just gonna say goodbye and have a nice weekend, and then keep an eye out for for Camel 4 tweaks.